a function. So return a new distributed data set found by passing each element of the source through a function func. Okay, as RDDs are immutable, after applying the map transformation, new RDD is created. The function is applied to each element, mapping it into a new element. The word mapping is used because it has a meaning similar to transforming, but with the nuance of creating a new version of rather than modifying. So what is uh, what we have already discussed that when we apply the map, for example, we are trying to like uh, map uh, for a particular string length. So we are converting a string of data and we are mapping it to the length, which is, which can be uh, the length is always an integer or a long, and then we have to collect it. So this is a, a sort of transformation. Similarly, we will uh, learn about others like map reduce and the count methods that how to actually use the map reduce method uh, for doing this narrow transformation. So I have got my IntelliJ open now. Let's start writing some code now. So in my IntelliJ, I have already created a new package in my test Java, which is chapter seven, RDD mapping. And I have created a new class, test class for RDD mapping test. Now to save some time, I will copy some of the like initialization stuff. For example, I will copy this Spark conf and paste it here. So we need a Spark conf, a config object uh, to create our Java Spark context. And after that, we'll create the RDD and uh, that's a unit test for RDD mapping or, or, the, or the narrow transformations that we just discussed. Okay, so let me copy this as app name as this, and I will set the master as local start, which means that it will utilize all the CPU cores that I have in my local machine, in my laptop. Now this time I will uh, use a random uh, a set of string data this time not a double as we did in the previous action one so create a list of string data is equal to new array list okay also i will just use create uh, iterations number of iterations as it take 10 because in the previous one also we tried to uh, when we were learning about the rdd reduce test we created double data and then we are trying to iterate it uh, for example 10 times so uh, to perform the action and see that how much time it took that's why i am trying to like just have a class level uh, variable as number of iteration time because we will write, write it quite a quite a few uh, unit tests in this example. Okay, so uh, let me also uh, similar to reduce test. We are initializing this data, right? So I will do the similar thing for our string data this time. So alt insert uh, before class method because I just want to create this once, and I will just create data size of say. 100,000 because we're creating for string, so it's fine. Uh, and then I will create for this data size. Now for data, because we have to create some random data here. So I will use random string utils dot, okay, dot random uh we use s key okay and here i will choose thread local random dot current dot say next end of say 10. okay now let me explain what i am doing here so this random string utils, right? This random string utils uh, is coming from, from this uh, dependency, uh, Apache or Apache commas, commas lang. And this is a very good utility uh, for creating some random uh, string string uh, variables or string objects. And here, when I am passing this random S key, it means that it will, if I do a fetch the documentation. So for the documentation for this, it's like random string utils, random S key in which we specify this count. So creates a random string 
whose length is the number of characters specified so whatever now so for example if i'm creating passing this count as 10 so the string uh, a random string would be created of length 10 and whose characters would be s key value between 32 and 126 so this is about uh, this random s key method and i think it's a very utility good uh, utility method to create random strings and here inside this the count that i am creating that count can be varying from uh, 1 to from 0 to 10 so this is what it is telling about this that i am using this head head local random and there would be variable size uh, string length created here and we create this for 100000 times and store it into our list of string of data so this is what it is doing now we have initialized our data and just a simple assert equals that uh, that its the data size is exactly same as our data created of list of string alt enter and it will add it okay so we have got this uh, our data initialized with random strings of length varying length up to up to 10 now let's write our first unit test case 